Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today, as soon as that truck finishes going by, holy crap. Ah, that truck's not messing around. Uh, today we're going to go over... I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to go over the dank memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Uh, we are... Let's scroll over. This one is by underscore shoulder underscore. Another shoulder meme. Hey, can I have some recommendations for SCP articles? So you can read them later? Yes. Actually, doesn't read them like a boss. Nothing time. <laughs> this is a pro. Everyone does this. I, I, I think at the very least. And it's a bigger problem when something is super long. Uh, an, a long article get me to look at it and be like, I'll read this later. And then later comes and uh, I'm playing a video game instead. Um, I don't know how many times I'll open up a tab and then <laughs> end up closing it later. Uh it's sad, but it's the way things go. Read things on my SCP wiki? Not likely. The author's head cannon. There is no head cannon. I think. <sighs> oh, this is by Bush Guy Nine. See, there's this. Every once in a while, people are like, "Well, what did the author intend?" Uh, but I mean, that's helpful for under like it. That's interesting and helpful for understanding an SCP. Don't get me wrong, but. If you don't like what the author had in mind, you can just ignore it. It's fine. There is no canon. Um, gosh, I remember back when I used to make videos and that was like the thing I opened and ended with. There is no... Remember, no matter what, there is no canon. Although, again, I think it's more fair to say there are infinite canons. I'm going to actually change my... Uh, Ver, uh, vernacular <laughs> to, to point that out but like every article is its own canon and your interpretation of it is its own canon so the, the author's head canon might explain why they've written certain things into the article it might explain a lot of things about it but in the end uh you can always just ignore it, it doesn't have any real impact on anything this meme is by commander short i for one welcome our new daybite overlord so Here's an interesting thing. Um, I know a lot of people, is it 6140? I've actually, which uh, I was told, hey, you should read 6140 if you haven't already because there's a lot of memes this week that include it, but not a whole lot of the memes that were in my list, at least I don't think uh, were, I mean, although a lot of them talked about the day bites, they weren't specifically about 6140. Um, but I mean like, eh, the interpretation of the day bites in 6140 is kind of boring i mean it's nice it's a nice subversion i guess but i was never it's been a while since i read it but i don't recall being blown away by it or anything like that um the, the day bites hmm. it's a little bit like pattern screamers or a variety of other uh pieces uh, uh, mysterious things on the scp wiki in that they're better when you don't know what they're all about and 6140 is just something I'm going to ignore canonically going forward. It's fun. It's a neat idea. Like, the idea that there is a universe where the Daylights are just, you know, eventually turned into a normal empire. Um, but it's not my it's not my viewpoint of them. If the wiki doesn't got my shitty ideas, I know Log of Anomalous Items got me. Can I get a silent acknowledgement? Um, no, because this... <laughs> Because stuff that gets added to the log of anomalous items doesn't doesn't mean that it's shitty ideas. And if they are shitty, it's gonna get removed from the log of. <laughs> it's not. It, it's not. There's no. It's not that there's no quality control on it. There are people. There's like a whole team, I believe, devoted not necessarily to just this, but part of their uh, mission statement is to manage the logs, the collaborative uh, logs that are all over the SCP wiki. So like, ugh. Sorry, Indonesian guy. I, I hate to tell you that doesn't actually mean what <laughs> that doesn't mean what you think it means. The SCP Foundation obliterating humanity because of something. A place that taught me the difference between right and wrong. The GOC terminating anomalies that might cause harm to humanity. Um the SCP wiki and the or by the way, this one is by John Mark Corpus 2. I'm going to start leaving the underscores out because I'm pretty sure those those are just supposed to be spaces for most people. Um, what I mean, 
what we learn about the SCP fic about SCP fiction is that everybody is just sort of supposed to, everybody thinks they're the lesser of two evils. They're the that every that that evil is necessary in order for the world to survive and that they are the lesser of the two evils or in the story generally, not always, but generally the uh, organization being portrayed as the one that is the lesser of two evils and uh, the version of the SCP Foundation, which fucking I can't even remember which one it is. It's why, but uh, is it the six? Is it six K or five K? I don't fucking know. It. That's how little it Im impacted on me. <laughs> I should know, despite the fact that I don't. I wasn't like it didn't really hit with me, but uh, I don't, which is says more about me than in the article, I think. <laughs> but um, why is boring? It, because it portrays a it portrays a foundation that steers into the skid that is more evil, not less. They're not a necessary evil, uh, and in that uh, in the fiction that we're talking about, the GOC is the good guy because they're the ones fighting against you know the extermination of the entire human race. Uh, anyway, uh, the context for Mister Mudda himself, uh, who is the creator of this meme. It's a bummer, actually. Enjoyable animated SCP creators get lumped in with the rubber. And then there's a there's my logo beating up a guy. I assume, the, actually not assume, is the rubber. I don't think that's fair. First of all, the video I did on this was merely acknowledging, like, some of it's low quality, yeah. But it was merely acknowledging the fact that the reality of SCP content on YouTube has changed. And it has, by the way. As long as people can produce, you know, animated content at the level and uh, at the volume that we're talking about here, let me put it this way. And this says something about my content, and perhaps it says something about the other content, which is still doing decently. And if you look at my numbers, I'm doing not great. Um, but this says something about my content, right? When there were no other options, I was doing great. <laughs> now there are an a whole bunch of dozens of op maybe not a dozens not maybe not multiple dozens but a dozen other options and uh my traffic has gone down significantly yes competition is a thing uh but apparently i'm not competing very well <laughs> just put it out that put it that way uh i was the rise i was rising up rising up rising up and then i have my growth has flattened out to a literal plateau now uh, which and it started right around the time the animated channel started to become popular. Truth is, as I said, uh, there's just more competition, and I'm not doing enough to compete with the the extant channels, or no, I should yeah, the newly extant channels. Uh, it's how it's got to be. I need to do more. I don't know what I need to do exactly, but I'm figuring it out over time. Hopefully, before the channel completely dies. <laughs> But uh, it's not. Oh, this is the last one. Well, perfect. I, I'm going to go out on a, on a down note here. But um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't think it's fair to say that I'm like kicking the rubber even necessarily. Like there are, by the way, some of these animation channels uh, have problems with regards to crediting properly and all these other things. So there are problems. That's the issue. Uh, but the, the, most of them have corrected them uh, since then after a lot of work and bugging them about it because they had to. But I guess what I'm saying is, is that like, I need to find my niche, right? Uh, and do that and keep doing that uh, because there's just too many options in the SCP, SCP sphere now, you know? These guys are trying to make money just the same as me. Ain't nothing wrong with them. It's, well, there is some things wrong. <laughs> I keep saying like, I'm not, I'm not down, I'm putting down these other channels. And then before I finish that sentence, caveating it with, but some of them, and and some of it is terrible. But uh, you know, you don't get anywhere. You don't you don't rise by bringing anybody else down. Well, that's not true. There, <laughs> see, I caveated that. There are channels that do that. Maybe I should just consistently do takedowns on everybody else. Get those hate views going on. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I am not alone out here. And I will see you all again. Another truck. Thank you for helping me in the video. <laughs> and I'll see you all again on Thursday.